Hey, go. Hello there, I'm Gunnar <laughs> Tautram here with uh, Seaborn Designs on a great job down in Los Angeles County at a country club down here that had a bit of an expansion at their property which um, required taking out of about 50 redwood trees, Sequoia Sempervirens. And those ranged anywhere from about this big to full 48 inch diameter giants. And their quote green architect on the scene um, informed them the importance of utilizing those trees on site. And since there's very few people that mill urban timbers in Southern California, they ended up finding us in Santa Barbara County and uh, Nikki Ferretta, myself, Gunnar Tatrum, came down here with our Lucas mill. So you had to bring you had to bring an Aussie over here, mate, to get the job done. <laughs> it's hard not, to get not, rid not, of the not, the, not, not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> the damn eucalyptus and uh, the Aussies they get around. So the uh, the Lucas mill from Australia is great tool. Brought it down, easy to take down, set up. Brought it on site here to the country club, and uh, began milling it up. We asked what the what the end product was that they wished and they just happened to want to redo their whole locker room it must be a big club because they have over 850 locker room doors that they've requested what's what size are they they're about uh about this tall about five feet tall yeah. about this wide so all, you, all the same so your your process you've gone from the mill you've and you've sticked all of this out you've built these little structures and these are a these are about what 2.1 meters long which is what's that in the imperial it's they're about seven and a half seven feet, and a half feet yep. which works out to uh, the size of our styles and rails and you cut them to an inch and a quarter inch and an eighth inch and an eighth yeah, pardon me and then you reckon you'll get shrinkage down to three shrinkage quarter down to well, well not yeah you're going to trim them and stuff yeah, yeah. planing so yeah. a bit of shrinkage maybe an eighth three sixteenths and then the rest will plane off yeah um and all, all the same, because they want so many of the same thing, 850 doors, we yeah. just went with exactly yeah. the same stuff. You notice we stickered um, more or less um, under 24 on center yeah. with our stickers. Yep. Uh, we use ratchet straps. Redwood doesn't get too crazy like, uh, yeah. like the Ukes in other part of the world, but uh, figured we would go the extra distance and do the right deal. We got the roofs, we're going into fall. So, so what have you cut? Them. Each one of these looks like it's probably a couple, well, at least two or three cubic meters. So yeah, I haven't calculated a board foot, but they're about 33 high. 33. Well, they're fairly square, aren't they? So it would yeah. be, it would be close to four cubic meters per heap. Yeah. Which you know, if you were to sell that material, it'd be uh, worth a fair fair penny as an air dried product. Yeah. The, if I had a board out, I would show you, but there's some incredible grain yeah, sure. in some of this stuff. Well, you can kind of see it from the top, but uh, yeah, you can't do it quite justice. It's beautiful timber. Yeah. And um, so this will stay here for probably three months? Yeah, three yep. to four months. We'll check moisture and then... Uh, what are you going to get What do you what when you say check moisture? We get it down to about 15%? 15, 15 is yep. what we're shooting for. Air dry to 15, and then we'll take it up to our dry kiln in Santa Barbara. We'll bring it down to uh, eight or nine or something yeah, like that. Yeah, this stuff should be fairly. It won't case harden because yeah. it's a soft wood and it'll be. It'll, it'll come be up be nice. Easy. Yeah. So you're going to use um, dehumidifying kiln, which so you've bought a, a refrigeration container, or yep, a 20 which is foot, aluminium container. Um, all stainless steel. Oh, stainless, is it? Yeah. Cool. Interiors all stainless, um, all insulated. Beautiful insulation. Yep. Beautiful doors, and. Uh, and then, yeah, the kit is a dehumidifier, a small heater, and fans. So that's a, and that's about five or six grand's it's worth. It's about it. six with bells and whistles for exterior um, checking of moisture. It runs almost seven grand for all the bells and whistles. And then you got the container. What did that sting you? That was, uh, it was just under three grand. Yeah, right. More than you would think. Everyone says the containers oh, that's, are cheap, but the refrigeration with the insulation. That's stainless. a good price. That's a good price, yeah. I reckon. Yeah, you go and buy stainless steel, it's uh, not cheap stuff. No. So, you know, you're looking at the total, like one of these mills, this is an 8 inch Lucas, what, 23 horsepower? Yep. Yeah. 23 horsepower. You've got, a, you've got the, um, the slabbing attachment that you're using. You're going to do these sycamore logs over here later. Yeah. 
So your whole your whole capital cost for something like this, you got the trailer, you pick up all that. You're looking at about a twenty-five to thirty thousand dollar investment in capital to make a, a pretty sweet little business to recover yeah. a lot of timber, which is otherwise just getting chopped up into foot blocks, which every is day. every day. Every and day uh, whilst whilst the forests that we have don't uh -huh. produce much good timber anymore, do they? So yeah. they got it all here. That's I'll amazing. You, I'll show you some of the good grain. Let me, uh, let me flip one of these over and I'll get a little water and I'll give you a good shot of some. That one looks like a tight one, is it, this one? 